So this video recently started taking off and apparently a lot of people also need reviews of Sunrun Solar. And what's funny about that Sunrun Solar review video is my opening hook in that one actually is the Bitcoin miners turning on, but then I don't address it for the whole video. And that's because making Bitcoin mining content is actually kind of a hard niche on YouTube because Bitcoin is such like a thing that people are at all varying levels of how much they know about it. And then Bitcoin mining even below that is varying levels. And then solar has its own like misinformation and all that stuff. And so here it is, solar Bitcoin mining for beginners. <laughs> and I just thought of this while I'm filming, stick around to the end and I'm gonna tell you something super awkward. So I've been mining Bitcoin at home since 2019. And this is my third house now that I've been mining Bitcoin at. And I've had solar since 2022. And this is my first home that I've had solar at. And so this is what I tell people straight up, like my friends, my family, when they ask me how they can get started with solar Bitcoin mining. So let's just start on the solar front. New build homes in California require solar to be put on them. So that's the way that I was able to kind of dip my toe into solar was we were already buying a new home anyways. And so that was just part of the package was we are going to be solar owners. What I'm going to say right off the top is do not buy solar for the sole purpose of mining Bitcoin. If you're considering solar for other reasons in your life and you watch other videos and that being a solar energy producer is interesting to you, then this video is absolutely for you. If you're specifically trying to answer this question of, should I start a home-based business of mining Bitcoin with solar? Like, no, no, no. Solar Bitcoin mining is not a business. It's not a business, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's just a way to monetize surplus energy above what the grid pays you. And I'll get into all that. And so solar is just, I think it's positive for our homes to be energy producing assets. And I think it's positive for our homes to cover their baseline energy needs. And then because you're making that capital improvement to your home, Bitcoin mining is kind of this like cherry that you put on top that just makes your home and your energy production even more efficient. And so that's it from the solar side. From the Bitcoin mining side, the basics of Bitcoin mining is Bitcoin is money without a central bank. And so Bitcoin is open source software and open source financial network that we as the participants own and maintain. Mining is the process of adding a new block to the blockchain. So you hear this word blockchain, that's where it comes from. Blockchain is like the transmission of Bitcoin. It's every 10 minutes, a new batch of transactions are added to the ledger that we all are able to see in an open way. Compare and contrast this to like the ACH network, for instance. And you know when we're all sending money to each other via the ACH network, you're not able, and you have to like manually chat your bank or manually call your bank to ask like, hey, what's the status of the transaction? Like that's because there is no online open, in Bitcoin it's called a mempool. You can go and look at the mempool and you can see all the transactions and where they are in line to be processed. The ACH network doesn't have a public mempool, so you have to ask your banker to look at it for you. That's what's cool about Bitcoin is that we're able to view and all maintain it together. And so mining is a word for the computers adding blocks to the Bitcoin blockchain. And you're paid transaction fees and a coin, it's called a Coinbase reward for the point of doing that, for your help in doing that. It started as a very small thing where anyone could just mine on their own computer. And then it's gradually become a giant industrial thing that happens. Very large companies invest lots of money into it. And you've probably seen like giant, um, perhaps like media pieces about that or whatever. Home-based mining is different. So home-based mining is just one or two machines in your garage, in an office, and then you join what's called the Bitcoin mining pool. And that's what helps you contribute your hash power to a larger amount of people all doing the same thing. And then you split the payouts together. So on a super practical level, here's what you need to do in order to get started. You need to have a location that has power and hardwired ethernet access in it. 
So there's a little tool, I've talked about it in some of my other videos, that if you don't have an ethernet port in the room that you wanna do the miner in, it's called like ethernet over power or something like that, and you plug that in, and that brings a hardwire ethernet into that room. And so you need a room that has power and has internet hardwire access. Then you just buy a miner, and you can buy the miner on eBay or on Craigslist, or there's a company you can look up called Kaboom Racks, and they will ship you a miner just like you buy anything else, just like you would buy any other computer. And then the kind of last piece of semi-technical knowledge that you'll have to have or have to look up is when you get the miner and when you plug it in, there's not like a screen on the miner to look at. And so you have to know how to look at your home network and find devices that are on your home network. And then you'll have to find the IP address of the miner and type that into your browser. And that's what's gonna allow you to kind of get into the back end and interact with the miner. Because then you're gonna set up an account with a Bitcoin mining pool. The two pools that I've used the most are called Slush Pool and then LinCoin. L-I-N coin. I would use LinCoin pool now, and so you can look both of those up, and they will have instructions on how to attach your miner to the mining pool so you can start stacking Bitcoin. Here's that thing I told you I was gonna tell you about. Sunrun has blocked me on Twitter. And so that's what I mean about just the information around mining and solar just being so convoluted back and forth. And that's what I'm trying to kind of add is some context to the conversation. So if you liked today's video, if you just liked the snippet of how to get started with solar mining Bitcoin for beginners, tag me, tag Sunrun on Twitter, and let's help people understand the connection between Bitcoin and energy a little bit more.